Last time there was a lot of wandering. This time there's probably going to be a lot more wandering. But um, on a serious note, I was hoping to get to the dungeon last time and have this video be basically nothing but that. Uh, depending on how much work there is before getting to the dungeon here, I can't promise that I'll be finishing it, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Because I uh, don't know how long this uh, minish section is going to be. There was that one door that I uh, skipped over, and I'll go to that if I get a chance to, but it depends on how far out of the way it's going to be. I honestly forgot that we were coming here to get the sword repaired. <laughs> so let's see if we can get there. No, I already talked to you. I'm also noticing multiple exits out of this place. Oh, maybe they're just houses. Okay. That's a little bit better then. But I'll check the other ones in a minute. You are large, therefore you are the boss. I like how they all feel the need to sing their little working song. It probably gets fairly annoying. But I can't. You see, these rocks have blocked our... Okay, now. Oh, wait, I need all the... Okay. So do we only need the one from this next level, or do we need all of them? Either way, we'll be back eventually. Okay, so let's see. I assume we don't have permission to go in here, yeah. Oh, wait, no. We do, I guess. Okay. Oh, I see that you went down there and spoke to him. Clearly that means that you're good enough. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely leading up to the dungeon. Let's check those other doors real quick. And then we can probably be moving on. Mm, yep. What is this? Apparently nothing worth investigating. And over here... Not much. Can we sleep? Can we get health back? Probably not. Okay. Alright, I guess we're heading out, heading out then. So, yeah, from the looks of things... I should be able to start the level pretty soon here. Now, um, it looks like I can probably form a shortcut here if I, like, plant a bean or something. I'm not sure where I'll actually get that, though. Here's one of these things, which at some point will allow me to teleport. I'm still assuming, but I'm not sure how that works. And here's the dungeon, so... Just to double check real quick here, I want to make sure this isn't something that I really, like, really want to do. Because um, there is that one door that I skipped, and depending on what's in it, I may just want to like off-screen back to where I was. I think it's this door here, right? Because, yeah, I don't think I went in this one. It is looking like a puzzle that I can't solve. Okay. Because I need to have, uh... I need to have Ben. No. What the hell is the name of that song? The... I don't remember. Elegy of Emptiness. And yes, I know that's not actually what you use, but whatever. Okay, so... Let's see. We don't... We got... Four floors, no idea how big each one of them is though, so I guess that doesn't really tell me too much. And apparently we have bob bombs. I seem to remember these being in Link's Awakening. At least something similar to them. There's a uh, thing up here. If I could somehow get them to blow that up, that would be cool. Not that I don't have my own bombs, but I don't know. 
Nope. Okay. Must get hit by it, of course. Alright, so, um... Since I usually like to make a prediction of some sort, I'm going to say that the item of this dungeon is probably going to be the digging mitts. Um, I have no reason to suspect this other than knowing that they exist somewhere in this game and that, uh, th that's pretty much it. Okay, so now I can't do anything with those. Um, I have to admit, I didn't actually read his text, so if it said something like you have to flip them with your shield, I didn't notice. That's why I'm testing this right now. Luckily, I came back to check that, because that would have, uh, that would have been pretty stupid. Do we get the map already? No, okay. Either way, that is a decent enough prize. Oh, hello. I recognize you from Phantom Hourglass, I think. Has this been in any other games? It's probably been in, like, Four Swords and... I don't know. I've already been down here, I just am curious if that would have worked. Apparently it would have, unless you couldn't push it up, so yeah, I don't know. Okay, so staircase down, and actually, is that the only way I can go? I swear there was another door somewhere. No, okay. Never mind, I'm going crazy. And now we've entered uh, the second map in Mega Bomberman for the Genesis. It's, it's not just a mine, it's specifically that. Not exactly sure why, that's just the first thing it reminded me of. I liked that game, though. Screw that freaking crab boss in the third world, though. Alright, so... Are we gonna have weird, uh, spin-the-track puzzles? Because it looks like we're gonna have weird spin-the-track puzzles. Also, this looks cracked. Is this, or...? Nope, that's just a texture. Okay. Alright, so how do I flip that switch? Clearly by blowing it in the direction that it's already facing, that will work. No, I just have to go around there, I guess. I'm going to assume until uh, I run out of ideas that none of those blocks are pushable, because I don't feel like checking every single one of them. This thing does work against these, right? Yeah. People were telling me that uh, I should really start using the gust jar more often, and it does seem to be useful against a lot of stuff. Okay. G oh my! That, uh, that went a little bit faster than I expected. Also, I'm noticing that that was specifically the Young Link from Ocarina of Time yell. Um, I haven't really been paying enough t attention to the other sound clips. Like, for some reason I assumed that was Toon Link, but no, I think that's also... Boot link, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. Or just something similar and generic, I don't know. So anyway, we're gonna be getting small at some point there. I'm trying to think if, uh. Didn't the. Like, of the three people who also played this game and know what I'm going on about, um, in Mega Bomberman, didn't it also have enemies similar to those? Like, it is a 
game where bombs are a very common theme, so I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, I seem to remember that being the case at least. I just remember that game had uh, weird kangaroo things that hatched from eggs, which is shockingly similar to Yoshi's Island DS, so everything's coming full circle. A portal? What is a portal doing here? Bears, etc. I make that reference a lot. That is a uh, Flash movie called Bear Hello. It is fairly unremarkable, but very stupid, and therefore is good, because stupid things are always good. Do I want to be this way, or do I want to go back? I'm going to go back first. Oh. There are pots in the way. I cannot go back. Good thing they respawned, then. real quick here. I guess I have no real way of knowing which way is the best to go yet, but let's just go this way. Oh, heart pace, okay. Which I can't lift because I'm too small. Can I use an extremely tiny bomb to blow this up? No, because I can't even go across the track. Can I go in the minecart, even though I know I know I won't be able to? Alright, well, we now know that this area exists. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I want to jump down there. Ah, uh, but my freaking annoying, like, must-go-everywhere-possible self is saying that I need to backtrack and see where the other way went first, so let's do that real quick. Uh, it went nowhere. Okay. Isn't it fun when you, uh, decide to not check the thing that would have taken you two seconds to check. But anyway. That was a really high jump you did there. It seemed unnecessary. Alright, so can we put out the fires? No, I don't want to do this. Alright. gonna crumble. Yeah. That seemed like a bad idea, but we've got a button. Oh, and they respawn, apparently. The game is literally telling me that falling in lava is bad. I'm, uh, real glad they included that. I like how all four of those pots merged into one. So what am I actually trying to do here? I feel like I'm just kind of going in a straight line, which is fine, I guess. I just... Usually I have, like, a destination in mind. There was that one switch I passed up earlier, but I think I'm in completely the opposite direction of that now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, see, I freaking knew that was going to happen. Oh, that one takes much longer to crumble. Okay. Falling in that lava would be a very bad idea. I'll lose this quarter of a heart. And here we just have trilobites. Am I supposed to knock them into the holes like that one thing in Wind Waker? I guess so. Not sure why I called them trilobites. They're more like pill bugs. How does one get into that tornado? Can I throw the bug into it? Don't know, because they're all dead now. Oh, wait, I see what I'm supposed to do. Never mind. I see the scuff marks there. I'm just double-checking. Okay. Well, off we go. 
This doesn't seem risky or anything. I might lose a whole quarter of a heart if I mess this up. not expecting that. What? <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, I get it. That's actually kind of clever. Okay, let's do that, and there we go. I think I missed a chest. Yeah, can I even get back that way? Because I was over in that direction earlier. I don't remember if I somehow missed something. Uh, yeah, didn't I go up in that direction? Did I already forget? Yeah, apparently I did. Okay. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Like, I've been in this area multiple times, and I just somehow never even bothered to check that. Alright, so let's see how big this place is. We got a couple chests up there. Got stuff. And then we just have, yeah. I tend to not really like the fire dungeons in Zelda games, they just kind of get a bit... I don't know. There's nothing really wrong with them, I just never really care for the uh, red and orange palette. It's a bit black on the eyes, that's why I always like the uh, forest and water ones better. But I suppose design-wise there's nothing wrong with them. So far this one has been uh, inoffensive enough. I like the minecarts at least. So, have I been in this area yet? I feel like I have. Yeah, I definitely have. Okay. The difference is I now have a key. Where was that locked door? Probably in this direction. <laughs> First, let's ride the world's fastest minecart. Oh yeah, I, I, I freaking f keep forgetting I have to use the keys. That's so that's really weird. Okay, there we go. Um, I guess that spins both of those. I was expecting to have to find a second one, but that's fine by me. Do I want to jump down there? No, that's where I came in, I think. Isn't it? Oh, I can't jump down there anyway. For reasons unknown. Yeah, that'll give you whiplash. Okay, so I still need to get that heart piece somehow. Um, oh, there's a bombable wall up there. Okay, let me see where the other end of that wall is. Probably an area I haven't been to yet, so let's ride this one more time. The last dungeon only had one hard piece in it, right? For some reason I'm, like, thinking that there's two, but has there ever been a Zelda game where there's been two in every dungeon? Like, usually they don't even have any, but some of them do. Twilight Princess has... Actually, Twilight Princess might have two. I know it has at least one in every dungeon. I honestly don't remember. Because, you know, I totally didn't play through that game, like, a few months ago, and already forget. Anyways. There we go. Alright, anything I need to do here? 
there was some kind of unusual contraption here that doesn't really look like a minecart. Oh, it's upside down. Never mind. Okay, can't do that. Can we blow it up? No. Can we shove it? No. Can we blow it over? No. Okay. So I guess we're going to find what I've randomly and uh, probably arbitrarily flips that over then. There's a thing I need to do. This looks like a mini boss. Oh no. Okay, so maybe not a mini boss as much as just a horde of things. Which I am failing miserably against. Looks like uh, the old standby of stand in one place and spaz your sword like a moron works, though. Okay, digging mitts. I have no idea what this is. Okay. Really? That's it? That seems like a not very good prize. Charge up energy in holes, and then flip up on out of... That's a long series of... What do you call those? Those aren't prepositions. Those are like... Flip up on out of it. I don't know. Okay, so... What the hell is this? Like, obviously it'll flip that minecart, but... I'm trying to think where else you would ever need this. It seems like a very... Sp oh, okay. Let's, intru let's introduce stuff that was never a problem before, just so we can use the item. I see. Okay. That was, uh, that was pretty good. So, flip on up out of it. But, but why though? What? That makes no sense. I mean, I guess if it's like circling around the hole and then it kind of shoots me up, like maybe? I don't know, that just seems weird. Uh, there was a door there, right? Yeah, I just need a key. Need to remember that for later. I'll immediately get hit with trap. And there we go. But wait, if I put it in there, then I can't do this. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen now. Nothing. It just kind of squishes the magic. Okay. So, I guess now, in the rest of this game, I'm going to have to constantly pay attention to does this thing look like flipping it over might somehow do something? Which is something I never thought I'd have to look for. Okay, so is that everything on that floor? Uh, looks like it. Alright. So we got some traps, we got a switch, we got a tiny thing. This looks like uh, plenty of fun. Yeah, I can't see any reason why I would not want that. Alright. Oh, we... What? I did actually want it the other way? Really? Okay. Okay, this is actually much easier than I thought it would be. Also, that thing's totally clipping through me. And what is that? Is that a very tiny like 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 slash lever thing what is this no what is what is this is this pimento cheese sir what is that I guess we'll ignore it really kind of wondering what they are I guess they'll do something when I'm big
Okay. They are non-threatening spinny things. I mean, slightly threatening spinny things, but yeah. Oh, gotta flip the thing. Ooh, can we flip these? Gotta find out. Also, I like how this level has those enemies that you have to flip over. And it gives you the item that flips things over, but it's actually completely unnecessary to beat them. Like, maybe it makes them a little easier. Maybe. Can we flip these over? No. Okay. Let's play uh, Bozo's Buckets here. Except I think in Bozo Buckets, you're supposed to do the closest one first and then go all the way to the end, but don't be bothering me with your accuracy. I like how I, like, I can't possibly reach up to hit this. It's too hard. I gotta push it all the way into this hole. Okay. Also, I probably could have, like, shot into that and launched over, but Nope, there's a tiny little series of pebbles up here. I couldn't get over that. Alright, um... Yeah, I just need to launch up to that. If I drop down that way, there's a chest that I can get, so I guess I'll do that. My favorite. Kinstone pieces for everybody. Yeah, so far I'm finding this one to be a lot more linear than the last dungeon. Which, uh, in terms of getting it all complete in one video, is perfectly fine by me. Not necessarily a more interesting design, though. You don't start sinking immediately, right? No. Does it keep going? Oh. Wow, see, I'm looking at that thing down there and not realizing that that's something that I can also flip over. I'm, like, I'm the best at this game. Anyway, let's let's do the upper path first, because I want to see what that leads to. Possibly a shortcut of some variety. No, it's going to make a chest, isn't it? Or a warp. Where does that take you? Is this also to the beginning? Yes, it is. Okay. Anyways, let's, uh... Oh, I can't actually get to that. Okay. So I imagine that has to be the boss key up there. but I don't know. Also, for some reason, I keep forgetting to select the item before I get off the menu, and I really need to stop doing that. I saw some tornadoes down there. I'm waiting for when, the, when they come into play. Oh, that was uh, bad. That was also bad. Okay, let's try that again with a little bit less failing. I'd make some uh, some sort of comment about how, like, if this was one of the original few Zelda games, falling in the, in the lava would probably do, like, three hearts of damage, but I don't know if that's actually true. Um, Link to the Past, I am imagine probably had lava in it, I just don't really remember, and I don't know how much damage it did, so, yeah. I know it was in A Link Between Worlds, and in that game it probably did, like, a half heart or something. Come on. Yeah, I saw that tornado over there, let me see what's in this direction first. 
bunch of garbage, that's what. Yep, like I said, bunch of garbage. Not sure how I meant to get up there. Oh, yes I am, like this. Perspective is not too great on that. It's hard to tell how high up you are. Like, obviously I knew I was going to make that, but visually there's not much of a way to tell. I do like how the floor pattern tells you which way to go there. That is useful. And now we get to have a fun time. Um, if I fall in the lava, I probably reset to this location anyway, but just in case. Suddenly reminded of Donkey Kong Country 2, in which a gorilla riding on a rhino are perfectly capable to be lifted by a uh, hot air balloon. And I've hit my rupee max. I will need to find something to spend that on sometime soon. Uh, why? Okay, this, this is... Yeah, that didn't quite work out. Um, I guess I'm supposed to go where those fires are. For some reason, I thought that was uh, a place I've already been to. Now they're getting tricksy. You have to use two items. I wonder how many people play this game and actually do replace the sword in instances like that. For me, it just seems weird to not have the sword always equipped. The only time I don't have it is if a puzzle specifically requires that you use two things at once, like the uh, Pegasus boots with the rock's feather. And okay, at least it's not more money. Are we getting close? And there we go. Okay. That should have been the last chest in the dungeon, right? Looks like it. Okay. Alright, so boss. I'm going to guess that it is a large thing that you have to flip over. Possibly a bigger version of those things that I fought earlier. So a giant spiny type thing. Or a turtle, or... I don't know. Let's find out. This looks like King Dodongo's arena. It is some kind of snake type thing. No, it... No, it's... It's a... I don't know what it is. It's a dragon turtle thing. It's kind of cool looking, I guess. I just i am not really sure what the hell it is. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? I doubt I can just hit it with this. It doesn't seem to be doing much, although I'm trying to hit it from behind. Oh, wait, that did work. Why did it work that time? I swear I hit it like... Wait, what? Okay. So, what determines if I can hit it? Uh, it's like, flashing, so maybe I have to wait until it cools down. Except, yeah, I totally did that before. Not sure. Does it, uh, well, the lava's expanding. I was about to ask, does it get a more difficult phase? Because so far, I'm not entirely impressed by it. Oh, 
Okay, that's a lot of fire up there. Like, I guess if you uh, aren't quick about it and you let it cover the entire, like, area with fire, then you have to switch between items and that can be annoying. I don't know why I've started, like, reviewing this game. Like, pretty much this entire episode has been that. Like, oh, this is a, this is good design. Oh, I don't like this. Like, I don't know. Guess I don't really have much else to comment on, because I'm seeing it for the first time here, so... And spaz out again. And okay. Well, that was a boss. It was Fiery Jeff. It wasn't actually Fiery Jeff. I will not sully his name. You obtained not quite the Goron's Ruby. For some reason I read that as Fire Emblem. Okay. Well, that went a uh, hell of a lot faster than the first one did. Can we use these yet? No? I don't know why that would have arbitrarily allowed me to start using them, but I figured it was worth a shot. Okay, so I now have one of the elementals, or not elementals, just one of the elements, and there's two others. Oh, they finished the sword. I thought they needed all of them. Is this the first game since the original that had the white sword? I ask out loud, not really caring about the answer, and yet many people will probably answer me. Yeah, fuck grandfather sword. Elf grandfather. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to take it back here to get forged every time I get another element, then. What, so it's, like, medium-sized? And it just so happens to be open now! Oh. What, you mean the cliff that you can jump off? Alright. So, unless there's any random stuff here that I need to flip over... And no, I cannot flip over the people. I don't think there's really anything I need to do here. I'm just making sure none of these uh, doors lead to anything new now. Does not appear that they do. Alright. So let's, uh, head on out. Oh. Okay, I just, uh... I was so set on finding a bean to plant in this hole that I forgot I can do that now. Okay, so if I ever need to get back up there, then that's a way that I can do it. I cannot hit the P-Cat with this. That was disappointing. Anyway, I think I'm pretty much done with this mountain. Um... Oh, yeah, that's a, that's an enemy. Well, merchant enemy. Here's a thing I still can't do, and I think I've been everywhere else. Because when I did this last time, I went up the mountainside, uh, went across the gap, fell in the hole, came out of one of those doors, it led to a different door, came out of a different door, went in a different door, came out of a different door. <laughs> it's like, as I was saying that, I'm kind of looking at the doors and making sure they connect in my mind. That probably sounded like I was having a uh, stroke, but whatever. It, it, it made sense to me, and that's all that matters. Also, do we no longer have audio? Why, 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 why audio? What the hell? This, uh, happened in my Heart Gold stream, too. The audio just randomly decides to shut off for no reason. Okay, well, anyway, since that is the end of this place, Let's uh, head back to 
the marketplace so I can spend some of this money. And then I guess I'll do a very small bit of exploring to see if I can uh, get to any of those things I've opened up recently. Gotta check out if people will trade. Do you have to be standing still next to them, or can you, like, run into them? I don't know. So yeah, the stall that I cleaned up sure is empty. I'll do a proper exploration of this place later on. I guess that fits. Except the one on the right looks a little bit more rounder than this one, but there we go. So how many of these things are there in the game? I don't remember if that was ever answered. I don't remember if I ever actually asked that, to be fair, but... Uh, Alright, let's go check that out, because that is very close by. Can I, can I do kin stones with the cat? Why did the cat make a noise like a baby chick? Unless there is a baby chick somewhere nearby. Yeah, there is. Which I still don't believe I can get to. Anyway, need to not get distracted by the town. Let's go see what the tree has. I'm going to guess that it has a single piece of fruit. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, no, that's to the one... Okay. I was about to say, can I randomly teleport on these now? But no, that's something else. Oh, boy, seashell. Where is that one tree? Oh, wait, what? That would make sense. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that the entirety of Hyrule Field was south of this place. That is because I am a dumb baby. And here is a fairy thing. Okay. That's nice, I guess. Not really what I was hoping for, but that's a thing. Not sure what I was hoping for, I guess like a hard pace, but it's not always going to be something great. Anyway, I need to spend money, so let's uh, go to that one bakery. This is decidedly not the bakery. Oh, hello. That is going to lead to a lot of things, isn't it? Uh, since this video is already kind of, like, I, I did the whole dungeon and stuff, I really don't want to start anything major like that. I will definitely remember that for next time, though. Yeah, I've been down here. Uh, I just want to spend some money. Where, where can I spend money? Like, I know a bakery exists. I just don't know where it actually is. Oh, and I can get to Lon Lon Ranch. So yeah, we'll have some things to explore. There is the bakery. I'm going to buy this piece of pie here, after save stating, because I don't just want to buy random pie without, any, without anything in it. Not sure how it determines if there's stuff in it, like if I can just reload and keep trying, or if I have to like leave and come back, or if it only does it at certain times of the game. So maybe I shouldn't be spending my money on random baked goods, but uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it if there's nothing in it. Until I know for sure that, uh, like, you have to buy X number of slices of pie before one has something or something along those lines. I'm not going to spend my money on it, so. Um, I guess we'll probably be done then. Wait, hold on. Was this always here? Yeah, I already did that before. Never mind. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can do here that would be wrapped up in, like, five minutes or less, but... Uh, not seeing anything major, so... Rather than spend half an hour bumbling around, I think we're just gonna stop, so yeah. 
Next time, some town stuff, as much as I can do. Um, feel free to let me know what side quests are available, just so I don't waste my time. Um, like, don't tell me the entire contents of what will happen, but just say, like, hey, go to this particular particular house, there's a thing there, that kind of thing. Um, but I'll do that, and then I guess we'll find out what the next uh, plot hook is. Also, um, Monday, because remember, the games are switching off now, so this week that was a Wednesday video, next week it's a Monday-Friday video. Whatever, you'll see it when it happens.